Penn founds a utopian experiment. Lots of people come to this country to found a utopian experiment. All of them fail, except Philadelphia. Penn's utopia comes in two parts, uh, and we all know this. It's city planning, the grid. This is a revolution. Nobody's done this city planning, you know, since the Romans. Uh, and if you compare it to uh, 17th century London, right, this is, this is a revolution. The second piece of this is religious tolerance, religious pluralism. And um, that too is a revolution. I mean, we take this now for granted as a cornerstone of liberal democracy around the world, but this is a revolution in the 17th century, not just because nobody's thought of it before, but because the 17th century in Europe is the age of religious warfare, where Catholics are killing Protestants, and Pro Protestants are killing Catholics, and Catholics are killing each other, and Protestants are killing each other, all in the name of God. And the notion in the 17th century that you would just invite everybody to come to the same place, people thought Penn was nuts for doing this. Um, but it works. And in a sense, what Penn does is to ask this set of questions, basic fundamental questions. How do you create a physical environment, a city, which, uh, which is livable, habitable, where people can raise their families, where you can avoid things, you know, the things that Penn wanted to avoid, fire and dirt and crowding and disease. How can you do that and how can you create a space in which all kinds of people with all kinds of cultural, religious, ethnic baggage can come share the same space and not kill each other?